Hello, it's Michelle, and I'm back with a fun technique for listed menu items, but it's a bit of an illusion. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, here's a sneak peek of what we were going to be creating today. This is straight up HTML and CSS, so you should be able to use it on any platform so long as you have the ability to add custom HTML snippets. If you're ready to see how this works, I'll pop over to my computer and show you how it's done. But before we do that, be sure to hit the like button if you find this video helpful and please subscribe. I release weekly videos on web design, marketing and content creation strategies. Without further ado, let's get started. We're going to get started today in codepen.io, just a site that allows me to test different HTML and CSS. You can also throw in JavaScript if you want to. So this is really just basic HTML. And really what we are trying to achieve is this little dotted line effect that goes between like the menu item and the price. You see a lot in print menus. You can do it really easily in programs like InDesign when you are designing print documents. But when you wanna translate that to the web environment, not so simple, I guess. There isn't just like one quick, you know, thing that you can throw in to achieve it. So I'm gonna show you how it's done. It's just a little bit of an illusion like I had mentioned before. So let's start looking at the HTML over here. I did put this inside of a container and if I can scroll up. So the container that I have this in, it's just 40% of the page width. I've got it centered by doing margin auto and then I changed the font family to Georgia. So that's just what you're seeing right there. Getting into it, we've got a class called menu and I've got a simple table inside. So in this table, I have one row and two cells. It's very, very simple. I'll pull that over so you can see that. So my first cell says acupuncture and my second cell is the price. So this is just referring to that spa menu page that I did create on Michelle the Creator. And we'll take a look back at that page here in a second, but I just want, this is probably the easiest way that I could talk through the HTML and CSS. Also want to note that if you check out the link in the description, you can go to my blog and you can grab all of this code for yourself so that you can use it on whatever platform that you prefer to build websites in. It should work anywhere um, as long as you have the ability to customize HTML and CSS. So looking at this code, we can see that each of the items in the row are wrapped in a span tag and there is a reason for that. And then once we're done with our table, we've just got a paragraph of copy to explain you know, what each item description is. So if we look at a couple of things over here on the CSS, very standard. We've got the width set to 100%. We've got some margins that we've adjusted. Nothing really too complicated here. Once we get into the menu cells, that's where we have a few items that are actually giving us this dotted line effect at the bottom. I've got the ability to adjust the color there. I can repeat it on X. I've got the different size for each of these. So I will start to play with those numbers so you can see how things are actually being manipulated. And then this is where the illusion comes in because I've got this span tag that has a background color to the items. If I were to go ahead and remove that and say none, and as it auto updates, you can see that really this line spans the entire width of our cell, of the row really. And so it's going all the way across, but because that's not really the look that we want to achieve, we need that background color to be placed in so that we can make it look like the line is only going between the menu item and the price. If I were to change this to a crazy color, that would allow you to see that how that background color is being applied. So it's just being applied to the link of each item inside the cell. Now there might be a, a time where some of the dotted lines are getting a little cut off, like depending on the length of the characters that you're using. If you needed to, you could always put a non-breaking space in there something like this and then that would allow you to have another extra space right there just to push that dot out a little bit further not necessary just something you could do so i'm going to go back let's change this back to white so that we can see the full effect 
We've got padding too. So you could see that there was a little bit of padding on the top and bottom, but not on the sides. I wouldn't really adjust the sides because if you do that, then things aren't going to match up with your paragraph below unless you add styling to your paragraph completely up to you. It's just how much, you know, extra styling that you want to do. So we've got a couple more items to go through. So we've got the, the CSS for the first child of the menu cells. And this is just talking about the alignment of the text, the weight of the text. You get to choose. You can completely style all that you want to. In this one, we've got the text going into uppercase, and then we've got align height. We've got the first child span, so we've got padding right. So you could do that. You could easily adjust this too. So right now it's set to zero, but if you wanted it to be set to like 10 pixels, you can see that that just jumped out a little bit. So you could control dialing that way too. If it wasn't on a case by case basis that you wanted to put a non breaking space, completely up to you. We'll turn that back to zero. So the last child, this I you can adjust now if you're not just going with a simple price and you're trying to maybe it's like a restaurant and you've got like a complex you know price let's say it was like a a wine you know glass per bottle type situation you could adjust the width of those a little bit if you wanted to so I could say that okay the width of this is going to be you know 30 percent maybe we'll see if that changes it and you can see that 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 broke out to the left just a little bit more. So this is adjustable as well. If you're finding that your pricing isn't really fitting in the space, you can make those adjustments. Again, we've got the text alignment going to the right and then the line height is the same as the first child. And then if you wanted to, and you needed to put some extra padding on the left side in the scenario, you could do that as well. We could do 20 pixels just so you could see how that broke out there. So it's got a ton of extra space and you probably wouldn't want that, but again, completely up to you. And then based on mobile styling, if you needed to, and you're like, okay, the fonts aren't working anymore and we really need to make some adjustments, you could put that media query in so that you can make those adjustments for any font sizing or heights or extra, you know, edits to, to padding and spacing. So if you want to adjust colors on things, let's take a quick look at how this radial gradient is actually working. So I'm going to change this first one to an obnoxious red color so that you can see that's how the dots are being controlled. So if you wanted to change the color of the dots, you could do that first one here. This next one is a background. So if you do something like we'll do should be a green color, you can see that that is like the background of that space that's in between the two span tags for your content. So you have some ability to make adjustments because maybe, you know, not every time you're going to have it on a white background. And so if we wanted to change that you know, we have to make sure that we're making adjustments to either the background of the spans. So if we needed this to be the green color too, you could change that. And so if the entire container, let's say that the background of the container had a color to it as well, then you would want to make sure that it's looking seamless. So now it looks as if the entirety of the section has that green color with the, with red dots. So you can make as many adjustments as you want to with this. It's just creating that illusion with those boxes and making sure that things are appearing the way that you want them to. I'm going to go backwards to where we started so you can see that ending effect. Like I said, it's very simple. And so really all you have to do is you re repeat this as many times. Once you have this div with the, the menu class on it. And then you put your table inside, you can put your description, you can end your div, and then you can just repeat it as many times as you want to for however many menu items that you have. So again, we've got the div class, we've got the table, the description, and then I've got this extra div because I put it inside of a container. Because if we didn't have that, you could see that it's just spanning the entire width of the page. Okay, so let's take a look at what I have on my site. This is in Divi. So I wanted to show you if you do if you are a Divi lover like I am and you want to build it in here, you can actually purchase this layout on my website. 
and it has all the code in there for you with everything styled. But of course, if you want to just copy and paste the code for yourself, you can visit my blog and you can grab all of that content from there. I'm going to enable my visual builder and then I will just show you how I set this up. I'm going to expand into my layers palette. And so I've got my header. I've got this acupuncture section. You can see that I've got a row in there and then I've got one column. So I've got text, more text, my button and some menu CSS. So if you're wondering if you purchase this layout and you're wanting to know how to access the CSS, it comes right in it. I've got this little code module that will pop up and then I've just placed all of the CSS that we just went over in the code pin and you can make adjustments there. but very simple. And so I'm just using text modules in this scenario here for my menu styling. And if I go into the text tab, you can just see that we've got all of that HTML pasted right there. So this really works great for, I mean, if you're listing out restaurant items or even like spa services, if you're more service-based business, it's just a fun way to style your content, but it's just, the fact that you have to create just a bit of an illusion to make it happen. Be sure to check all the links in the description to access this code for yourself. So what did you think? If you have questions on how I did anything, you can always leave those in the comments. Please be sure to like this video if you found it helpful and don't forget to subscribe. I'd really appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.